Welcome everybody. In this video, we'll see how to grow crustaceans in aquaponics. Uh, but you can see that the size of one yabi is not really big. So if you want to eat the yabis, you need a lot of them. Uh, you need at least 10, 10 yabis per person. And uh, it's quite hard to have a high density of yabis into your tank because of what I just told you, because of the reason that they are cannibal and they're going to fight between each other. So if you, you want to have <coughs> a few yabis into your, your pond, uh, the best thing to do is to have a lot of pipes so you can increase a bit the density. I wouldn't go over five per square meters. Uh, even two per square meters sometimes is quite high. And depending on the spaces you're gonna have uh, in the area where you live, uh, it's maybe more um, aggressive spaces or, or less. So maybe you're gonna be able to go for a bit more and may maybe you're gonna be able to do a nice production. But most of the time in aquaponics, we grow yabbies as a side production. It's really, really fun to have some into the tank. They are really nice, really nice colors here. Uh, you can see the blue is, is, uh, is amazing on this animal, uh, but really it's more for fun than anything else. Uh, they go really well with fish, as long as the fish are, um, are, not, are not sick, right? Because any sick fish will be attacked by the yabby and will be uh, eaten by the yabbies. So if the fish are alive and they are in good conditions, as long as you don't have too many of them into the tank, it's not an issue for the fish. They can live together without any problem. Uh, those kind of animals, they, they can eat quite everything. Um, they can eat the fish food if you overfeed your fish. They can also uh, eat uh, any uh, fish meat that you put inside, any worms. Uh, also, they are also vegetarians, they, they are I mean, omnivorous, so they are able to eat some, uh, some grass. So depending on the species of crustacea you're going to have in, into your, in the area where you live, you can find that are more, uh, some that are more predators and some others that are more um, uh, herbivorous, uh, vegetarian. So yeah, depending on the species you choose, you will find that it's, uh, it's quite easy to, to feed them and to find a, a species adapted to what you want to do. But uh, for example, here in Australia, yabbies, they are able to eat any meat and they're also able to eat any uh, seaweed or, uh, sorry, not seaweed, but algae or plants. So for example, here, um, I got a tank where I grow some uh, elodie. So this is, a, this is an aquatic plant that is grown normally for aquariums. They grow really well in aquaponics as well huh, because uh, uh, they, they use the nitrogen from the water, such as the plants. They are very efficient. And the yabbies they love eating those kind of plants. So they are very, uh, they are very easy to, to feed. They're very convenient to have, uh, very, very nice. But uh, when they mold, obviously, this is where they are very sensitive. Now, if you got a female that has got the eggs, uh, it's good to have it. They are going to stain the pipe. They're going to have the tail that is going to keep close this way. So here is a little female. She holds a lot of eggs, probably around three, 300 of them. So all those little eggs are going to be some future yabbies. But if you leave the, the female in a tank with fish, the fish are going to eat the, the baby yabbies as soon as they, they are born. So the best thing to do is to isolate this, uh, this specific female into a special tank. And in this way, you will be able to keep the babies. So the babies, they, they're still on, under the tail for a little while. And when they are big enough, uh, they're going to swim by themselves uh, into the tank. So here again, we got a nice female with uh, plenty of eggs under the tail. So you can see that she's uh, really alive uh, and she's got beautiful colors as well. She's nice blue. Uh, and this one has got really, really plenty of eggs. So we can see it a bit uh, closer. It's a really nice animal. So it's not really good to disturb the female when she's got the eggs like that. Uh, it's better to leave her alone. It's really for the, um, for the movie that I'm doing it. Uh, but you can see the number of eggs that she's got. 
it's quite high. I put her back in a pipe. Here you can see um, a very very small baby. So you can see the size if you compare it to the size of my fingers. So when they hatch they are really really small. So for a very short period of time they stay uh, under the leg of their mother. But then they just swim by themselves. Look how cute they are with their little uh, red clothes. They are amazing creatures. And then uh, when they are a bit bigger they, they are really grey and they can just swim by themselves. Uh, and they can actually go quite fast when they, when they see a predator. Um, but really if you leave them in a tank with other fish they're gonna be uh, it's gonna be a source of food for the fish more than anything else so it's important if you got a spawn to put the female in a specific tank uh, where you will be able to grow the, the babies and uh, yeah I really recommend to have some to have a few to play with uh, it's quite quite nice to have some into your tank they are really beautiful uh, and uh, they, they are really good to eat as well if you can if you can have enough of them, if you got a big, uh, big fish tank, it's really cool to have some. If you, if now, if you grow some yabbies in a deep water culture, in a rough tank system, you can also maybe integrate some into into your deep water culture, just below uh, your your raft. Uh, some of them got the tendency to eat the roots, depending on the species of crustacea you want. Uh, but uh, yeah, those freshwater crayfish, as some call them. Uh, they can be a good mix to put into this kind of setup as long as you don't eat the roots. And in this case, you can have a nice production because you got a big surface. So then it can be really interesting to have them into this uh, kind of environment. But in a normal aquaponic setup, yeah, I definitely recommend to have a few and to play with. Uh, really nice uh, spaces to have. So here is the kind of pipes that I use. And you can see that even in this one, I got, I got one yabby. So that's the way it is, they just hide into the pipe and they can hide from any predator or and predat by predator I mean most of the time other yabbies are predators uh, so here you can see that's quite a small one but really nice one and I can put it back into the pipe and this is basically the, the home of this little yabby so you see those kind of pipes, you just buy the pipe from the shop, you cut few few sections, you put them into your tank and you got the perfect uh, perfect home for your little yabbies. So the problem of those pipes is that uh, they catch all the particles, they modify the currentology of the of the tank as I just told you. And you need to clean some uh, the pipe sometimes, so you need to leave the pipe and you need to clean the bottom of the fish tank. If you don't do, it can be a, a source of disease, so I really recommend to clean, to clean those pipes sometimes the time. So in the nature, but the, the crustaceans, they like to bury into little uh, holes. So uh, please uh, create some, don't forget to put some pipes into the, into the tank, otherwise they will feel very stressed and they are not going to last for long. They need to have a place to hide. Really, it's very, very important for them. Uh, as long as you give them a place to hide and the temperature is in the range that they like, uh, they're going to find some food without any problem. So that's definitely something to, to have into your, into your setup. Hey, something very important about Yabiz is the fact that uh, they, they got legs and they are able to walk and if your fish tank is not closed or if the walls are not high enough uh, they may be able to, uh, to, to, to escape your fish tank and if they escape the fish tank and they don't find water around uh, they're gonna die which will be a, a big shame so just be very careful that your fish tank is, is covered thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it uh, please subscribe to the video and share the video with your friends. Uh, next time we're going to treat about another topic. Maybe we're going to see another species of uh, animal or maybe another species of veggies. We're going to maybe have a very technical video. I'm not too sure yet. Please give me some comments. Tell me what you would like to see. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.